What is going on guys? Today we are going to be showing you all the differences between a set of ISR headers and a set of Siki headers for your LS swap. These specific ones are going in the LS6 R32 we're building, but the quality probably lines up with any of the chassis they offer them for. So my lovely model Corey has the Siki ones and this is the ISR. And right off the bat, you could tell this one has a two bolt and that one has a V-band. V-bands are way cooler. And that's the, uh, the first point, but let's get to it. All right, well, I'm going to show you all the differences in weld quality, general build quality, part quality, all that. First thing, the, I, the Siki kit came with the matching V-bands, which is nice. And, and one, one, two specific things about it. Um, they are flanged. Let me, uh, let me focus on that. So they're flanged, so they lock in nice and seal up beautifully. And then they also give you the quick release V-band clamp, which makes your life way easier installing the exhaust, especially if you have to do it by yourself. Um, and the ISRs came with the two bolt, but they did not come with the mating two bolt. So you kind of have to use their Y-pipe kit. But in our case, it may not work because I don't think they offer it for an R32 and it may be different from the S chassis. And both of these are S chassis headers, by the way. We're just going to make them work in the R32 because it's close enough. So Corey just figured I should include this. The benefit of a V-band over a two or three bolt uh, flange like this is this only provides pressure there and there. So they tend to leak there and there quite often, almost always. Whereas a V-band provides 360 degrees of even clamping. Uh, you can see how that's tapered. So this clamps in and pulls them together evenly. So they are nice and uh, nice and firmly seated. Uh, and you know, you don't need to worry about little exhaust leaks and it makes for a better install. And I just realized that my camera was on the wrong setting, so it looked all weird. It looked like it was like a thousand degrees in here. But next up is the gaskets. This gasket came with the ISR kit and this gasket came with the Siki kit. This is a, I don't know how to pronounce it, but Schoenfeld brand. Um, it's a high quality paper gasket. Whereas this is the standard composite gasket that comes with every eBay Chinese turbo kit and these have a tendency to crack. These are much better. Um, the only thing better than these is the MLS like multi-layer steel gaskets. So Siki wins. Siki wins but it's not the best best. Uh, Chevrolet performance would be number one in this but Siki is good enough. Another thing we just learned is the Siki Siki headers come with hardware, whereas the ISR do not. Um, and it is grade eight hardware. Um, these are the factory ones, which are a little bit longer for the cast manifold. So it works out because they both have a much thinner flange than the cast manifold. So you kind of need different hardware. And we didn't have hardware in the first place, I don't think. Oh, no, we did. We did have hardware, but some people don't. So my lens won't get, let me focus up really close, but this is the ISR header, and this is actually a cast, um, cast steel, I'm assuming, uh, flange, whereas this would be a CNC, probably laser or water jet cut piece. Um, so this one will be much stronger for warpage and uh, breakage versus this one. Oh, I thought you were going to announce it. Oh, I can. Do you want me to announce it? Yeah. All right. I don't know much more about this other stuff, I'll be honest. But it does come with a koozie. And I always say, if you're spending more than $800 on something, they should at least give you a little snack. Yeah. You know, like you buy ISR headers and they like might give you a sticker sometimes. But they give you a sticker. Oh, yeah, they do. 
sticker. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, they give you the sticker and a koozie. Which... And by the way, we are not endorsed by Sticky. Uh, we are just comparing the quality because we have both of them here, and I figured this would be educational for the people wondering if it's worth it to spend the extra. It's like six hundred, seven hundred dollar difference, um, and that's that's really up to you if you. If you watch this video and you're wondering if it's worth the difference, we're just telling you the facts. The rest is on your opinion. So oh one God. irrelevant note, along with other irrelevant notes like a koozie, is this is a pretty nice tag on it. Um, laser, laser cut, I would assume. TIG welded on there. That's not gonna go anywhere. This is a cheap printed tag. Um, and once it gets hot, that ink is just going to melt off or burn off. And then it's, those are, those are impossible to see later on down the road. They're like, it's faintly visible that it was ISR. So nobody knows how to know your regret. Just you. Now we can know a couple different details about the tubing. One is that this is made of welded tubing. There are some, some bends and then some welds, whereas each of these tubes are bent to the entire length and then welded once at each end. That just provides a stronger material, less likely to crack at any of the welds because that's always a possibility. And then you'll notice that the ISR is just a short tube header, I guess you would call it. And then those are long tube headers. So those will make more power. If we look inside of here, which you cannot see. Uh, I'm not sure what the collector looks like on these, but on these, you may or may not be able to see, but right at the center, there's a big old point, and that helps the, uh, that helps the exhaust gases smoothly combine into the exhaust pipe. Gives you that much more power. With the ISR headers, you'll see there's no weld on this side and then they strictly welded it on this side, whereas the Sickies, they welded inside and then did a small weld on the outside, one there and one there, and that just helps it hold a lot better. Um, the other thing I noted, if you're still filming. Yep, yep. So. Oh yeah, one thing Sicky does advertise is that their headers uh, sit a lot higher up in the chassis than the competitors. They do sit a lot higher. Also, if you run these ones and you have a factory O2 or something, yep. you're going to have to make sure whatever exhaust you put on here with the V-band mm -hmm. has an O2 bung on it. Because oh, these okay. have the O2 bung and these ones don't. Okay, so plus one for ISR, actually. Um, not a big deal, but you got to make sure your Y-pipe has an O2 bung because the header does not. Um, my camera is not able to focus close enough to really show you, but just by looking at it, I can see that the Siki header was back purged and the ISR header was not back purged at all. Um, so that means even though this weld looks good from back here and that weld looks just a little bit better from back here on the inside of the weld where it kind of counts, this one looks terrible and that one looks almost as good as the outside does. Now I'm just now noticing the Sickies have a pretty even tube length, which maximizes horsepower. And even on this one that has to go around the steering shaft, all of the tubes are pretty close to the same length. How this one goes that way and then curves back and then this one kind of takes the shortest path possible. And then all of those look really close as well. And then you could see that this tube is substantially shorter than this tube right here. Um, so that kind of makes uneven gas flow pulses coming into your collector and you lose a handful of horsepowers. Would that affect the sound? Um, it would, but not to a, not to an extremely noticeable extent. Um, unless you went from one to the other, you might be able to hear a sound difference. But like, there's just so many other, there's so many other things with like these being long tubes and short tubes, and then you know different exhaust and all that stuff. 
gotcha. a lot of a lot of that stuff goes into it. But yeah, there would be a would slight, be a minuscule different sound, but you wouldn't really notice the difference that much. Yep, yep, exactly. It would really depend on what it what is after this. Yep, yep. Gotcha. Yeah, so a little little difference in sound, and those are bigger tube than those, but Siki offers both sizes, so we're not going to compare that. So basically, in conclusion, we got the Siki there and the ISR there. Um, both of them will totally do the job. Both of them will get the exhaust out of your engine, and that's their main purpose. Um, I can guarantee with a lot of certainty that this Siki one will last longer without cracking any of the welds. The ISR one may be fine, just depending on how much heat is going into your exhaust and stuff. If you like, if you like the red line rev limiter and stuff, you'll probably end up cracking those. But who cares? Depends on how big of a deal that is to you. Um, but yeah, the the big old price difference of like six hundred dollars or so might uh, might steer you towards the ISRs, and that's totally fine. But if you want if you want the quality, the, those guys right there. And then also Corey has to say something. Also, one thing I noticed, because we actually installed these ISR headers on the LS beforehand, um, Siki actually makes a custom small starter to go with their headers. How much was this? It was like about 300 bucks. Yeah, it was almost $300. Uh, that's, only, so, that's only required for the right-hand drive stuff, though. Yeah, so if you are doing a right-hand you know, right drive LS swap or your car is right-hand drive, um, or you're even running some crazy setup on another car and you need a starter that will have better clearance. Um, they claim their starter has the best clearance. Yeah, the sicky one right here. We've never compared them they're... versus the other, but it's way smaller than the stock one. Yeah, it's yeah the stock but, one like comes out to there. But we've never big. compared it. There's other mini starters that we didn't compare to. So. Yeah, but this is an option with the sicky kit as well, where yeah. ISR doesn't, they don't offer a starter like this. ISR doesn't offer any right-hand drive at the moment that I've seen. So we, we tried to go ISR to save some money, but then we ended up going sicky because we had to, even though they're expensive. So yeah, if you do have a 180SX or a Skyline or a Sylvia or anything right-hand drive, put an you LS put in. in. You want to put an LS in it? Do it. Well, do it for one, but just know that you have to buy the sicky ones. You can't buy the ISR ones. They don't fit at all. Yep, trust us. Thanks for watching.